By this point in this series, the convent's bedraggled old station wagon is a fixture that we all more or less take for granted. Well, when I say we all, that doesn't necessarily include certain people. Good afternoon, sister. When did they get the parking meter stand? Oh, uh, this morning, under my personal supervision. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. They will bring a great source of revenue to this town. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the cement dries. <laughs> I'll see you later. Uh, that's the, just a bit true. Uh, 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 the meter. Oh, oh. Is, is this meter uh, like the ones they have in the States? Yes. As a matter of fact, we bought them from a bankrupt city in Florida at a fraction of their original cost. He's a shrewd negotiator, that's for sure. A real wheeler dealer. <laughs> Pennies, and nickels, where you put the penny yes. in, and the, uh, the little thing goes over there no, for two hours. No, now, I remember no, one you know, time. You do not seem to understand the function of this thing. You're right. It's way over her head since she's just a girl. It takes a real man to explain it to her. Yes. No? Pennies and nickels, of course, yes. yes. But you see, but the yes, penny wouldn't, uh, wouldn't, no. no. You put the penny here, uh -huh, uh -huh. and it's only six minutes. You oh, see? six minutes. Then when you put the nickel, then only when you yeah, put the nickel, it is. Oh, yes, 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 well, I'll see you later. Ah, Sister Betrayal, uh-huh. You forgot to put the... <laughs> Have a good day, Captain Wheeler Dealer. He won't, but we can wish him one anyway. It's the polite thing to do. Rosa, would you hand me the shopping list? I forgot it. Shut it off! Oh. Hit the latch! <sighs> Once again, big, strong, masculine Captain Fomento is here to rescue the poor damsel in distress. Yeah. There. I don't think you will have any more trouble with this horn. It's not. Do not worry, eh? I will go and get the screwdriver and fix it personally. Uh, another public service of the uh, local police force, eh? Do not be tired. Where are the headlights? That's too much to overlook. He's impounding the car. Nothing like leaving a nun and two children stranded on the street to show your commitment to serve and protect. Fortunately, Sister Bertrill knows she can ask Carlos for a ride home. Now it's a jack handle, which is probably more useful than a riding crop anyway. I talked a bit about Vito Scotti when he first appeared this season, and I'm really enjoying him. His style of slapstick reminds me a lot of Roberto Benigni in Son of the Pink Panther. He'll take the simplest of situations and turn it into something that makes you laugh out loud. We're going to get a healthy dose of that in this episode. His performance is one of his best yet in the series. I'm sorry, sister, I'm in a hurry. Where are you going? To put money in the parking meter. That me can put fomento on his ideas. He expects my customers to live in the middle of a hot roll to put money in the meter. That's why you don't see parking meters in places like Reno or Vegas. Carlos is too busy to drive them, but he trusts Sister Bertrill enough to hand her the keys, a little money, and say, put some gas in it. Sister. The gentleman who owns the car is so grateful he insists on giving her a donation for the convent. For the nickel she put in the meter, he gives her ten dollars. She's flabbergasted. Hey, that's a terrific way to make money for the convent. Don't be silly. We can't do that. Why not? Like the man said, it isn't a reward. It's a donation. Oh, that's the most ridiculous thing. It's the most. It is? Ridiculous thing I ever heard of. She says no way the Reverend Mother would go for it. Sister Bertrell even suggests writing notes to put on the windshields of the cars, but Sister Sisto says, uh-uh. Rosa. What? Sister Sisto told Sister Bertrell to forget it. She didn't tell us. But what is wrong for Sister is wrong for us too, no? No, we are children. We are expected to make mistakes sometimes, or else we wouldn't be normal. <laughs> There's a certain wicked logic to what he says. Next thing we know, Captain Fomento is at the convent and in the sisters' faces. 
again. I wish to impress upon you that interfering with the law is as serious an offense as breaking the law. Excuse me, but putting money in a parking meter for someone else is not interfering with the law. It's interfering with a nitwit's money-making scheme, but that's legal. Courtesy of the Sisters of the Convent sent... Well, look how Sisters is spelled. S-E-E-S-T-E-R-S. Remind me who their spelling teacher is? Oh, right. The kids get an appropriate dressing down, and Captain Fomento insists that they write, I will not interfere with the law a hundred times. I never understood what stuff like that was supposed to accomplish. I had to do similar things I don't know how many times, and all it did was consume my time. See, an add -er like me can do a repetitive task like that and not even realize it because my mind is somewhere else while my body is carrying out the task. While I was doing the writing, I was playing with my dinosaurs at home, deciding what I wanted to do at the next recess, wishing I was old enough to drive so I could go home for lunch, thinking about anything but what I was writing. In the case of these kids, I have a feeling all the sisters ganged up and helped them write it because they knew Captain Fomento wouldn't be able to recognize that there's nine different handwritings. And remember, children, the law is your friend. <laughs> I couldn't leave that out. The law is your friend. It gives you meaningless writing assignments to do. At the police station, the chief is not happy. So, where's all the money from the meters you talked me into buying from those two men? Where's all the money you said would flow into the city treasury? Chief Kalindo, I cannot understand what has happened with the money. But, with my own eyes, I have seen people put their money into the meters, and yet they are empty. But, I have developed a theory. And what is that? Someone's stealing. Are you sure it's not just falling through the pole and dropping all the way down to the center of the earth? I have news for you, dear brother-in-law. You are the master of the obvious. <laughs> Thank you. High praise indeed. Sister Bertrill is here with another problem. Well, we can't find any headlights old enough. I thought maybe you might have a suggestion. A suggestion, a suggestion. Uh, search the roads. They are cluttered with abandoned cars. Is there a wrecking yard on the island? I've seen towns of 25 people and even they had a wrecking yard. But do you know why that is? Because we are living in an age of planned obsolescence. Nothing will last anymore as it used to be. Now, you take for instance the cigarette lighter. It came with a lifetime guarantee. And only after 20 years, it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Those lifetime guarantees never say whose lifetime. That's how they get away with it. But he may have misjudged that lighter. I really hope they got that in one take. If they had to reset for that, they could be there all night. Fomento has an idea. Mark some coins with nail polish and put them in the meters. Then wait to see where the coins turn up and trace them back to their source, which should be the thieves. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Continuing her search, she comes upon, wonder of wonders, a wrecking yard. The owner has a fair idea what she needs and where to find it, and he'll help her as soon as he finishes up with some other customers. That wasn't a bad idea, keeping an extra key to the meter boxes, huh? It's like getting a dividend every <laughs> night. <laughs> so, what do you say? They want to sell him a couple of meters that Fomento didn't buy. A little negotiating, and they settled for $4.50. Hope you have change. You only got a five. Do we have change? <laughs> <laughs> they have plenty of change, and some of it even has nail polish on it. Nobody's noticing. I oh. think I found just what I was looking for. Splendid. Yes, they're just like the ones that were stolen off our car about two years ago. They are? Yeah. They couldn't be the same headlights. Huh? These were stolen four years ago. Oh. I like this guy. He's not just willing to help her, he's excited to. We can tell he enjoys doing for people. Well, how much do you want for them? 
Well, let's see. A pair of hot headlights. Uh, no charge, sister. Oh, come on. I've got to give you something. I mean, you're in this business to make money. My pleasure. I'll give you two dollars. Fifty cents. Dollar fifty. Seventy-five? You drive a hard bargain, so. Here you are. Dollar. And twenty-five cents. It's back to Fomento's office to get the car released. He helps make arrangements to install the lights and all is well. Sister, there will be a dime for the call. You know, no personal calls are allowed from headquarters. <laughs> Thank you. I'll pray for you. Unfortunately, there's no charge for personal prayers at the convent. Bye. 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 Usually, I count three, two, one in these situations. With him, I feel the need to start from ten. Now, it won't occur to him to ask where she got it. We've seen multiple times that the good captain has his mind made up there's something shady going on at the convent. He doesn't care what it is. He's going to find it and make a name for himself. How did she get the Markoi? Bite your tongue if you're suggesting that sister is a thief. Who said that? The accusation was right in your voice. I could tell. I know that in the past we have had differences with the sisters, yes, but this, but this is impossible. 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 Follow her. As I said, our two actual thieves are out right now doing their thing. Watch it. Come on, just get out of here. Too late. She did see them, and it wasn't difficult to figure out what they were doing. Sister Patrick. It's a good thing there's no major crime in San Juan. If a serious crime wave ever hit, this bunch would have all the nuns in jail before sundown. She's gone. Yeah, she's following the thieves that you're supposed to be tracking down. Captain Fomento doesn't know what to do. The chief is at Carlos's casino discussing the parking meters. Carlos wants them gone. I should never have permitted Fomento to talk me into buying those meters, but what can I do now? But I don't care during the night what you don't have to put money in. But during the daytime, my business fell off 50%. Sit down. I might have to board up the doors. Ah, no, no, my friend. Before I permit you to do that, I will board up the meter. I'll put out the border signs on them. Or, and I'm just tossing out random ideas here, you could remove them. They were Fomento's idea, so you can put them in his garage and let him figure out what to do with them. After he reimburses the department for what they paid for them. Dos whiskeys consolidated. In our business, you can't afford to be superstitious. Okay, I did not see a flying nun. It's all in my head. Just keep saying that to yourself. It's all in my head. The nervous energy he's putting out could power several homes. They're both ready to finish their drinks and get out of town. Just the two men I've been looking for. Maybe they should have skipped the drinks. But he doesn't suspect anything. He wants them to buy the parking meters back. He's willing to take half what he paid for them. I must speak to you. Uh, good evening, gentlemen. Chief, I have cracked the case. May heaven forgive me. You will not believe me what I'm going to say, uh, and neither will you. You don't discuss stuff like this in front of civilians, Captain. Especially when what you're discussing is as wackadoodle as this. I have found a material witness who, with his own eyes, has seen the theft. This kills me to say this, Chief. But the thief is... You caught them! You caught them! I caught them, caught them, I caught them, I caught them, you! The robber meters, a monitor meter, the bad guys! What do you say, Sister Berkeley? I saw these two taking money out of the meter boxes. The mark coin! Remember how I said Captain Fomento was going to make a name for himself? Yeah, we don't talk like that on the Family Channel. Oh, um, good morning, sister. The chapel is open for prayer and forgiveness from 2 to 4 every afternoon. No, but I have come to... I'm sorry, Captain, we're not on speaking terms. He finally stepped over that line one too many times, and she's had it. I have come to inform you that I have returned the station wagon with the headlights attached. Also, a new battery, a new muffler, 
and four white wall tires, courtesy of yours truly. White wall tires are a fad that comes and goes. I've seen it probably three times just in my lifetime. I got a set one time and the white would get so grimy from road wear that I'd have to scrub them twice a week. That was way too much work. I wound up taking them to a tire shop and having them turn them around so the white didn't show. Sister Bertrill doesn't care about the white walls, but four new tires means safer driving. And that's not all. To Sister Bertrill, citizen of Santanko, in commendation for meritorious police work, gratefully, Chief Galindo. Oh, how sweet. Sweet. I would give my life for a piece of that parchment. Well, the day you do some meritorious police work, you'll probably get one. Which means whatever animal that parchment will be made of is safe for a long time. He has one other item for her. I will not accuse the sisters falsely again. I wrote that 100 times. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. Well, I did if I wanted my badge back. She made him present that to Rosa and Miguel. While he watched, they made a show of framing it and hanging it in the classroom where they could see it every day. I will be going now. Good day, Captain. Welcome back in the force. Thank you. Tell me, will he never cease to punish me? You know, he doesn't have to be involved in everything that happens. There's lots of things he's perfectly happy to leave for you to do all on your own. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button to let me and YouTube know you want to see more. If you're not subscribed yet, punch me in the mask here and get signed up so you don't miss a thing because something is always happening here at Irving Zoo. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Oh, what are you doing? And not even realize it because... Because I can't say because. Healing and they settle for... Vor they settle. Energy he's putting out could power... Out. Okay.